Okay, so you have your class set up and you've adjusted your security settings. The next step is to set up a group to use with your class. We're going to do that over on the left hand side in the create a group category. It's going to ask you for a group name. It's going to ask you to add some members. And once you've done this, you click the create button. Once this is finished, you're ready to start with your group. It opens up with a brief summary of the events so far. We've created the group 12 seconds ago, and we've added members 10 seconds ago. From here, we have all the options above to add content to our group. Let's start with a post. Under the post button, we can enter our text here. To post this, we hit the share button. If I wanted to add a link, I could do that here. It also allows you to write a comment about this link. If I wanted to add a photo, I could do it with this tab here, and either take one with my webcam on my computer, or upload one from my computer. And once this is posted, students could see this in our gallery. This is a great way to create a gallery of student art for your classes. Let's go back to the group. It's also possible for group members to comment about anyone else's post. We can also add an event to the group by going to the Events tab. When you're done, you simply hit the share button. And finally, there's the document tab. This is where you will post assignments and other posts that are longer than traditional posting format will allow. When you've completed the document, you simply hit save. It's posted to the group's wall, and students can view it there in its full form. If you have the need to edit the group, you can go to the Edit Group button in the upper right-hand corner. Here we can change the name, change the privacy settings if we'd like to, set up a group email so that you can email updates to the group, and also write a description of the group. And then we go back to the group. It's also possible to edit the settings for the group. Most likely you would make any changes you need to here. That's the basics of how to use a Facebook group in your class. Good luck on your digital adventure.